What is true love? My grandparents, Pat and John, have been together since they were 14. I want to take them on a trip down memory lane to explore what 64 years of love looks like. Let's start from the beginning. Well, it was the summer of 1958, August the 6th to be precise. My God, you can remember everything. He remembers all dates and all yeah. years, and me, I'm terrible with dates. My friend and I were walking about 300 metres to the horse fair in Bristol, looking for girls, of course. The Primark, is John Lewis back then, had just been built. And on top of Primark, there was a roof garden. And as we looked at it, I saw this walking, talking, living doll, Pat. Oh, bless. <laughs> he looked at bee's knees to me, you know. I thought, he's the one for me. The first thing I said to her was, have you got a light? <laughs> That's what I can remember, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice to have pictures that remind you of the past. Yes, it is, really. Yeah. The earliest picture of us together is this one here. That was taken at Christmas 1959. When I proposed to Pat, indirectly. Oh yeah, that was the lovely thing. I moment. put her engagement ring in some Cadbury's roses. For all wrapped up, my All ring. wrapped up, and she opened it up. I had a picture of a, a suite, and there it was inside, the, inside yeah. the wrapper. We didn't want a white, I didn't want a white wedding, because I you couldn't cope with it, and you know, we couldn't afford, afford it either, no. Wedding, no so we just went down to the registry office, and it was mm. lovely, really. Went back to Mum's, cut the cake. You see that? That's me. When I shown it to my friend when we lived, they say, God, what happened? <laughs> This is January 1985 and it snowed and all my car has got covered in snow. It's okay. It's all right. You see, the cars are his first love and I come on the pecking order, I'm second. Yeah. So it's his cars and then it's me. And yeah, you forget a lot of things. Actually, a lot of things have come to, to mind with us because of what you're doing here. Mm. Mm. What if we took an actual step down memory lane to the homes Pat and John left behind? In 1960, we bought our first house at 92 Lacey Road, Stockwood, for about £4,000. That is a, a lovely feeling when you go into your first house. It's where the kids were born. We had a lot of fun there with friends. Had a lot of cars in a big garage there, built, was built on the side. And then we moved from there in 84 to the White House in Sleep Lane. Pat was willing to go around, but I don't want to go back there at all, to be honest, sorry. Got too many memories there. Sometimes, memory lane isn't the easiest place to go down. But, after some kind reassurance from the new owners, John was able to revisit the White House after all. A dream house, and I thought how lucky we were to get it. We did a lot to it, and I did a lot of planting there, it was lovely. Really happy that I come here now. It's the only way we ever got in here, they never wanted to come in here, but now we do a lovely team, um, we've gained access. It is amazing, yeah. I wish you'd been around then, because you would have really enjoyed it, yeah. Oh, that made quite emotional. It was emotional to go back to our old house, but um, it was very enjoyable. I just thought what they'd done to it was amazing. Some of it you can see was ours, but most of it is just a different house altogether, isn't it? Yeah, it was a rewarding experience. Yeah. Now, let's return to that all-important question. What is true love? <sighs> oh, God. Well, I think it's something you've got in your heart, really, and you know that you can't be without. When you find the one... You know it's the one. You know it's the one when it's the one. God, Pat, you're good. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, though, isn't it? You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 He was always very loving, very caring, trustful. He made me laugh. He was very funny. Was He's very romantic. very romantic. Very romantic. Very tactile. Yeah, I'm supposed to be staying this, not you. Sorry, I'm helping you. <laughs> so yeah, I've been very, very lucky, you know. You have. I know. Yeah. You don't deserve me, do I love? <laughs> Pat is a very loving person. Even when my mum is in her home, all the ladies they used to gather around Pat because she was so interesting and caring and everything, yeah. I'm yeah. lucky she still likes me. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I am very lucky, yeah, I'm very lucky. <laughs>
I couldn't have a better partner, could I really? You're not going to start crying now, are you? I am. <laughs> You're still beautiful to me. Even now, holding hands, I just get a, a tingle from it, you know? After all this time, yeah, seriously. Wow. We still cuddle all the time, I mean, it's perfect for me. That's a bit personal. You're going to cut some of this out, are you? <laughs> Most of it. I remember when we did get together, when we were after we were 14 when we met. She said, um, will you still be holding my hand when I'm 64? And then we're 79, we're still holding hands. So thank you, the end. Is that a, is that a wrap?